Woo! D&D, my love. Okay, so this is a very recent story that I was considering just typing up on r slash RPG horror stories, but I thought, fuck it. I have been wanting to make D&D content for a long time now and have some footage archived, so why don't I just make this a quick story time? So this is a story from my main campaign in which I play with my sister and my boyfriend. Really cool group, and I will most certainly have some stories from the bullshit we get ourselves into in the future. I joined earlier in the year when my DM was running two separate groups in the same world. We have since shrunk down to one group, and the player I'm going to talk about was someone we didn't have for very long, but caused a fair amount of problems. I'm going to refer to him as Power Gamer from here on out, because that's really what he was. I do want to say I don't have a problem with power gamers per se, they just view the game differently than me and that's fine. It becomes a problem when they get obnoxious about it and like prattle on about how great and superior their build is and how they're such a great and like better than everyone else. And that was this guy's main issue when it concerned the game, he was just an obnoxious power gamer. So he played a rogue, yeah I know, shocker, and took the arcane trickster as his subclass. The character was okay, I mean he had a fairly solid foothold in the world, a good reason to be there. If not a little on the edgy backstory side, which yes, he blurted his backstory to everybody, he made sure everybody knew. I'm really not one to judge about edgy backstories. I personally don't see a problem in embracing certain stereotypes or backstory themes, as long as you try your best to portray them well and they don't become the only thing your character is known for and you don't just become this brooding lone wolf. Adversity builds character. And and I am personally a player who I put adversity in my character's backstories for them to overcome because I feel like that's what makes a strong character. So I personally didn't have a problem with the way he set up his backstory. If I, I'm, I could see how other people would have a problem with it, but it was it was fine. You know, it was whatever. It's fucking it's fucking rogue. It's gonna be edgy. Anyways, in the party, we had a death cleric named Aldrich. You can probably imagine, as a death cleric, he wasn't exactly what you would call a good person, but of course, in character, no one knew this. One of the problems I personally had with Power Gamer was his habit of mildly metagaming. The first example of this I saw was when we had our first encounter of the campaign, and Aldrich was without his holy symbol or any components, so he had to improvise and took a few drops of blood from an injured NPC to cast his spell. I believe it was Inflict Wounds. I could be wrong though, don't quote me on that. Honestly, in the context that none of the players knew he was a Death Cleric, it just seemed like he was improvising like the rest of us. For example, our Paladin was using a wooden stool as an improvised weapon, and Power Gamer was using a smashed bottle, since many of us were without our gear, so it really shouldn't have raised too many red flags, right? Well, somehow this made Power Gamer's rogue very suspicious of Aldrich, and this was for the sole reason that Power Gamer knew Aldrich's backstory. This was just one example of his metagaming. Another was him trying to call out the specific abilities of a glamour bard in character when we had very little information about our bard, let alone her college. So it was just kind of a habit. We'd call him out on it, he'd brush it off, the game kept going. Whatever. A minor annoyance, yes, but not enough to completely ruin the game. At least not for me. Power Gamer really didn't jive well with a lot of people in the group. He tended to say what I would call some really problematic things out of game, but would also shut up most of the time you called him on it. So again, a minor annoyance rather than a huge problem. Power Gamer also had a habit of trying to dictate how others should build their characters. Like, for example, I was playing a high intelligence, low wisdom character, and he was trying to push me to take the medicine talent tree instead of history. Even though my character's entire theme was that she was incredibly educated but very naive, and considering medicine is a wisdom-based skill, it would have been kind of pointless and a waste of talent points. And you know, we already have a paladin and a fucking cleric, so the sorcerer having medicine was just kind of unnecessary. But I digress, this was just one of the ways that he would try and dictate how other players played. I wasn't the only one he did this to. Again, another one of the problems I noticed with him. The tipping point came when Power Gamer revealed Aldrich's backstory to me. Now, he didn't go into great detail, but he told me enough that I was sure Aldrich's player wouldn't have appreciated it. 
So a few days later, I was in a call with Aldrich's player and a few others just hanging out and it came up in conversation. So I told him what Power Gamer had done. As you can imagine, Aldrich's player was not very happy his character's backstory had been spoiled. And when Power Gamer joined us, Aldrich confronted him. Now, he was not aggressive in any way. If anything, he was sort of making a joke about it, but Power Gamer decided it would be a wonderful idea to get me back by blurting out my backstory to the call. I should say the only reason he knew my backstory was because he wouldn't stop pestering me about it, so I just told him to get him to shut up, and this was before I knew about his problem metagaming, so yeah, not my best judgement call, I definitely gave him the ammo, so serves me right, I suppose. But this was not what made us mad, what made us mad was that he decided instead of taking responsibility and apologizing, he was just gonna get me back for ratting him out. Really mature, I know. So, the session that followed the backstory incident, Power Gamer didn't show up, no notice in advance, just ghosting us, and the group decided to talk to the DM about our issues with him. And the DM, bless his heart, decided he was going to have a talk with Power Gamer. Or he tried to. Power Gamer ended up leaving the server, blocking everyone, and we have never heard from him since. Which is whatever, at the end of the day, we found a new player to fill him in, and we've moved on. Ended up soft rebooting the world with a smaller group, and that's where we are now. I don't think Power Gamer was a bad person, I just think he's one of those people whose personalities just don't jive with mine. I did send him a message on Roll20, which I did never hear back from, so I suppose that speaks more about him as a person, but it's whatever. No skin off my back, and I would continue playing in my campaign. Thank you so much for watching! I hope you enjoyed this story, and if you liked the artwork, please feel free to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, I will link it down below, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!